And I think what draws us all to this stuff is the community, is the sound, the silence, yeah. like all this stuff is part of it. That's our motor right there. We got a new rear end, which is somewhere over there in the uh, black plastic bag. Uh, all the axles and the drive shaft. The motor's getting finished up now. We have the transmission there that's all cleaned. That is our oil pan right there. And we have a lot of cleaning to do. So it's a budget build, obviously. We're sourcing parts from Craigslist and, and Facebook Marketplace and the Miata community. But uh, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Um, he was able to drag the Miata out by himself. It doesn't weigh anything, obviously, now, since there's no motor in it or transmission. Um, we're going to clean up this engine bay a little bit, delete what we have to. We still have our AC lines in here. Um, we're thinking of painting some of these components and, and just cleaning it up a little bit just because everything's everywhere. So that's the plan for today. Um, a little bit of cleanup tying up all loose ends the motor should be completely finished by the time we're done today um you know oil pan on all lines routed that sort of thing we're going to try to put the transmission back on the motor new clutch all the good stuff stay tuned So as usual, when you're building a car, when you're working on cars in general, something simple turns into a cluster. Uh, oil pan was one of those things. I had uh, taken our oil pan home to my place to have it drilled and threaded to have the oil return line um, hook up, put on it. But what ended up happening is once, once we brought it back, we had some clearance issues and resolving that took a little bit of finessing, but eventually we figured it out. Yep. Time to get a little down and dirty. Front bumper cover came off at this point. We knew that we were gonna need all the space we could get to route our front mounted intercooler and all the piping. We also needed a little bit of access to pull out our AC condenser. So that's what we did while we were there as usual, cleaned up what we could, sprayed the entire engine bay down with the greaser and got it as clean as we could while we had all the access. This was a really exciting moment for us, uh, getting the engine that was on an engine stand and being built off the engine stand because it meant that our clutch was finally going on, everything was gonna get torqued down to spec, and we could finally mate our engine and transmission back together after we got everything kind of situated. So it was actually pretty exciting. Trans is here, our rear diff is here. That's what we got done yesterday. Um, we put the entire motor back together, everything's on, oil pans on, all our little issues we were having yesterday with fitment and stuff, we got that taken care of. Obviously when you're doing a turbo project, you run into issues, unless you buy one of those uh, kits, and the kits are expensive, you can do it yourself, it's cheaper to do it, it's just you run into problems and you have to problem solve. That's part of it. Um, all our motor stuff is together. Our turbo's plumbed up. Let's look right here. Everything's plumbed up. It looks really, really good. We're really excited about that. We spruced up our trans. Obviously, we can't have a, uh, a motor that's all painted up and shiny and new and a trans that's not. So we did that. Um, we did our rear differential. This is actually the Torsen out of the 1.8 
Um, we have all the accompanying parts kind of strewn about here. And so we're going to mess with that later. Um, so this, this has the LSD in it, which is obviously what we need. Um, we're pretty excited to put everything back together. The hope is that today, I feel like the hope every day is to get everything back in the car. But it looks like today will be the day. Our motor's here. We put our clutch on. Our trans is together. Um, also, while I was away, he did all the painting. So our engine bay looks real nice. Um, yesterday we painted the, um, the subframe in the front pink just to give it a little pop of color when you look in the engine bay once everything's cleaned up. I think it'll look really, really good against the contrast of the white. Um, he took the time. He doesn't like to be on camera, whatever. Um, he took the time this morning before I got here and just kind of cleaned up the engine bay as best he could and, and sprayed it with a little bit of paint. I think it looks really, really great. We still have a lot of cleaning to do as far as like wire work and that kind of thing, but we want to get everything made it today and put back in the car. I feel like that's the goal of every day, but today might be the day. Um, our next thing would be our rear differential and the accompanying parts. But uh, today the plan is get the motor, which is right there, the trans, which is right there, make them to put them back in the car, see if we can't wire everything up so at least it looks like a car again, and then keep going. So things have happened. Obviously, we love a gold, 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 gold. Uh, call us gold finger. So we figured while the motor was out, we would do some heat wrap. And obviously, if you're gonna do heat wrap, the, the best kind of heat wrap is gold. Pretty neat, it looks pretty neat. And just like that, she is in there was a brutal just getting everything situated making sure that everything fits no snags or nothing she is in there she looks good she looks happy she looks perfect we're gonna mock up our intercooler just because we're trying to figure out what to cut i mean our, tur our turbo is touching just a little bit so we're gonna have to notch that in there oh good he brought all the intercooler stuff so we're gonna figure out how our intercooler is going to mount up and what route we're going to kind of take with this. But our motor is in our car. They are mated back together. Nothing's really bolted down, but it's in there. Very exciting moment. Very exciting moment. We are stoked. Stoked on it. This is going to make a good stopping point for episode two. Thanks for coming along on the ride. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. We'll see you on the next one.